Hi, I'm Will from the Outspoken Bicycle and Sports Shop in Newbury, New Hampshire. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to uh, choose ski clothing. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, lot of variables there, but we're just going to touch base with a couple simple things to help you make some educated decisions. Um, we're going to start with pants. It's always safe to go with black pants, you know that. Uh, pants are, um, well, actually clothing in general is, you know, you, you have to think about what type of person you are. If you're a highly active person, even if you're kind of a beginner skier, um, you're probably going to want thinner materials, uh, you know, less insulation, maybe more high-tech fabrics that wick moisture out or, uh, and also maybe vent moisture out like a Gore-Tex. Um, or any other side of things, if you're just a casual uh, person, you really just want to um, ski, you know, a little bit, more of a fair weather skier, but you're still worried about cold, then, um, you know, more insulation. It's not so crucial to have high-tech um, outer fabrics. It's more about insulation for you, so less active, that's the way to go there. Um, but when you're picking out a pant, generally um, a little higher back is really nice to have, keeps the draft off, so no matter what you have for a jacket, or if you fall, you're not going to get snow up in your pants and, uh, or up your back, that's never fun. Um, even suspenders are kind of nice. You know, if you have a suspender pant, that's going to run a little looser belt, and they're going to ride a little bit higher up on your back to keep you a little bit warmer. Um, even if you're just sitting on the chairlift, that's a real nice thing. Also on a pant, having a little bit of an articulated knee, and all I mean by that is the knee is basically pre-bent, and uh, if you're skiing, you are always got your knees bent, hopefully. So these pants are designed basically for that, that uh, reference point of uh, knees bent, so they're very comfortable in the skiing position. That's really helpful. And um, that not only is easier movement, but it takes a lot of pressure away from your knee and actually um, allows your knee to be a little warmer because the fabric's not as tight over your knee. Um, other than that, most pants are coming a little looser fit nowadays, and that's really a great thing because that just to provide you a little more air uh, trapping, which is warmth, but also a lot more maneuverability, and that's really helpful. Um, so that's uh, pants. And we're going to talk a little bit about jackets. Same idea. person who is uh, maybe not going to be skiing that hard, or you're just going to be in super cold climates, you can go crazy like a, a down jacket, really thick, really comfortable, but uh, not so comfortable if you're a really active individual. And if you're an indiv active individual, going to something more like a shell material that you can add layers underneath. This is a real high-tech fabric, waterproof, breathable, um, a lot of simple things like uh, pit zips. These are ventilation for your armpits. You can cool down quickly and zip it back up and you're warm again. Uh, you know, waterproof, breathable, keeps the elements out, keeps the wind out. Let's you decide how much uh, warmth you want to add by layers underneath. Or something like this, you pretty much come into the shell, super warm. Here you can kind of regulate um, for the day and for your style of skiing for the day. Um, and then uh, basically, you know, any type of wool hat is uh, going to keep you warm. That's real important and a good pair of gloves. But the clothing, uh, hopefully you get the idea here. Um, that's how you would uh, choose your ski clothing.